In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Kid, this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. <laughs> I'm down. I don't care. Listen, when Tower of God does a stupid recap with the boring shit, I'm like filler animation. But if Wistoria wants to show their peak cinematic fight as a recap, give it to me, baby. I don't care. <laughs> That was such a sick little wing flap, bro. The Duke just being like, ooh. Don't give up. Wand and sword. Together. Ice. And then the flashback. Oh. I, th I thought about a lot about what people are commenting in the last video, and if you think about it, right? Rusty, no man. But we kind of meme as Frosty the snowman, ha ha ha, wordplay. But beyond that, I don't know exactly how Rusty has gotten here in time, but Rusty literally threw like a glass, like ice shard to Will. Rusty also has immense affection to Will. One could assume at this point that Rusty is Elfie. But how? Through her origin magic of it being a clone? Maybe. But there seems to be a connection here. And Rusty is just... I, I feel like he's definitely associated to Elfie somehow, right? It it's gotta be. Especially with the wordplay of Frosty the Snowman. I think that it's definitely feasible. This backstory still makes no sense to me because as soon as we see this, we see Elfie just all messed up, right? <laughs> then we see a young Elfie. So these are two separate passages of times, unless you're supposed to tell me that this is supposed to be somehow the same timeline as this one. And this is like Elfie's mom, which I don't think is the case. This is like relatively future Elfie compared to this Elfie, right? <laughs> So, I can't really tell because everything is black and white here, but if her hair color is indeed black and it seems like she's holding Will, baby Will, I'm gonna assume that this is somehow mom, right? This gotta be Will's mom. And then the person that the mom, perhaps mom is, you know, uh, letting, uh, giving Will to is the teacher, right? I think that this could be like, the granny headmaster that we see at the academy? If not, I have no clue at this current point in time like who this character could be. <laughs> and if we go back to the flashback here, I just... This has to be Elfie, right? It, it has to be, right? Or maybe we're being misled and this is not. I'm assuming that this is Elfie when Will somehow protected her in the past. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Maybe this is a beaten down Elfie that's thinking about the past when Will, Will saved her. Th this part is confusing. This part seems like Will's mom handing Will off to the current headmaster of the academy. <laughs> and sword. That's right. Hit me, baby. If Rusty is Elfie clone, then why is clone male? Why wouldn't it be male? Why would Elfie give a female clone with so much affection towards Will? If it's a guy and Will doesn't roll that way, although I think it's backfiring, I think Will does roll that way. It, I, it, to me, it makes sense that a girl that wants to monopolize Will's love would not send another fucking girl, but rather a dude. It, it, it kind of makes sense to me. No. He became one. And I don't think that it's this sword that matters, right? I don't think it's the sword that is special. 
the, the, the weapon does not matter. It is Will. Will is literally the sword, right? He himself is like a blank element and like other people can imbue magic to Will and he can now right now be flame Will, right? That's what I see happening. And his eyes too, red. Now he's just OP. Ignis. He just knows the word. The animation goes crazy. And the interesting thing is like, it, he says like the word just came to him, right? This is not him being chuny and just saying random cool words as a name technique. It's as if he just knew how to say it. It's as if it's just in his DNA because he is that special, right? In the beginning flashback scene too with like wand and sword, he seems to be like a special breed. Credits roll. Credits. Credits. Original content now. Grand Duke has been slain. How many credits? 270 or some shit? Hmm. Sion looks like, yep, that truly is my boyfriend. Julius looks like, god damn it, he really is that cool. Wignall, yup, Lisa Nargaib, I was right to let Will touch me. Uh, I think that this is... I, Colette and Liana, it's just hard to tell which one is which sometimes. Liana, it, it, this is Liana with the headband. I think these two are also amazed at what's going on. Julius is the only hater, I think. Look, look at look at the Julius' face. He doesn't want to accept it. So is this power still active or what? It is. Wand and sword. It's... Yeah, the sword seemingly is going back to normal from this flame effect, but I think again, Will is the sword, right? He, this, the weapon, it doesn't matter. It's just a fucking extension of him. Will himself is the sword. So I wonder if he doesn't even have the sword, could the same thing happen where he's just fighting fucking like no sword style with just like, with this, like, just like his palms? I don't know. That's your latent passive. I don't know. What? Okay, okay, okay. Nah, these are fine. The Sentinels and Guard, that's okay. Edward's gonna show up. I'm waiting for Edward to clutch, right? We're waiting for that. This is fine. I thought that the Grand Duke, is, this is like phase three or something. They'd be like, that's too much. Nah, it's gonna be fine. Nah. Where's the Sensei's at? Don't make it then. Fuck you, Lies. Light? Sabaki. Haja no Kenwo. Is this the Light Sovereign? We haven't seen. Sorry, Magia Vendor. Not Sovereign. This is not Perry. I, I don't know. This looks like light magic, and there is a light, you know, Magia Vendor that is currently gone right now. This is light magic, right? Damn. Annihilation spell. Light Magia Vendor, that's my guess. Who is he? Look at that thing, bro. Old King. Old King. Aaron Masterius Old King. And am I crazy or does he look like a dwarf here? Right? And we know that dwarves have like no magic or some shit, right? But like this guy, when I look at his face, I immediately think dwarf. Yes. Light Sovereign's wand. Look at his eyes. The most powerful. I don't know. Hey. Thanks, man. Damn. Yulia's <laughs> really thought he was gonna fucking die there, huh? Holy shit, this cry of relief. I, I, I can relate. Yeah, I mean, it looked like he was gonna die there at the end. Let's go. Damn. Ultimate respect. This guy? The bad carrier? 
驚いたまだ生きていたか君の名前はんウィル・セルフォルトあなた Is it from the flashback? 僕はフィン Just Finn Yo, isn't there a kid named Finn in Danmachi who is part of Yeah, it's, it's the same blonde kid in Ice's party, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's the creator of Danmachi. Anyways, that's probably the inspiration. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, he knows the sword. The way that he's talking about, it sounds like he knows of the lore of sword and wand, whatever the fuck that means. He, he mentioned swords, so it's the same voice actor as well. It's hilarious. <laughs> but... There was a character that always carries like a huge ass bag in Damachi too. I think it was a girl though. It was a girl. But um, anyways, uh, this kid might know the secrets. Finn. Headless. I ain't gonna lie. Lily kind of sucks. You don't want to hear it, but yo, Lily kind of a hater, bro. After that season one arc of like the drug addiction and like freeing her, which is all great. After that, she became like the voice of reason that always like opposed the heroic ideals of the party. And she always had to play the antagonist. Unfortunately, right? It's not her fault. It's just like, no, not everyone can just glaze and go with the plan. And Lily always was like the hater. <laughs> and a part of me was like, shut the fuck up, bitch. But it's, it's not her fault. <laughs> oh, what is this? Uh, it's they were retrieving a sword? If we got an attack, we wouldn't have been able to position to retrieve this. This sword looks nasty. Why would they have swords? That everyone's just magicians except Will. Because maybe other sword and wand users exist. Maybe this is not specific to Will. Now it's seeming like there's more than Will that can just use the sword and wand kind of thing. But we just talked about how a sword isn't important. It's Will that is the sword. And the, and, and the actual tool he's holding is just a random trivial extension, but this source seems significant. <laughs> Probably Light Sovereign? <laughs> Party time for everybody. Good guys and bad guys. Eleven fatalities, all of them academy professors, bro. Jesus Christ, man. That's brutal. Queen Kyoshi. Ikinokota Kyoshi Jin no Jinlu Seisha wa Nashi. Thank you. Jiken no Shibosha wa Otoni Shimete Hai Sarelumo. Tegakari wa Izen. Yeah, we have a bounty poster now for Marze, right? The hooded guy with the mask. And then Headless right over here. Toaji no Warsa wa Nugue no Mama. Ikinokota Monota Chusoku o Mukair. So is it only Warkner and Edward that's alive right now? Like how many, like 11 instructors is a lot, but surely there's more than 13 instructors total at the school, right? I don't know. They're siding with the Celestial host though. Masterius Noah, Light Sovereign. Yeah. Yeah. You did it. It's a huge deal. You slayed a dude. Yeah. Yeah. Slice of life moments to end the season. I am so down, bro. Just build up Liana to be this indomitable fucking knight. Stomach starts groaning. Oh, oh, oh. oh she hungry. <laughs> you eat them apples. <laughs> oh. Forbidden Appa theory. Anytime you have apples in scenes, and I know this is not ReZero, but imagine something bad happens to Liana. Imagine this is like a flag that sets up the disaster of Liana in the future, bro. I'm just saying, I, I would, there's something about just apples, forbidden through it, the association with it. The more you like interact with it, bad shit happens. The more you like deny it, good shit happens. Will it happen in Wistoria? Like in ReZero? I don't know, man. Liana gonna die. Um, 
おかわり。おしダブルイブ。はいはい。おう、リユースアニメーション。リユースアニメーション。おかわり。まだ食べるの Another one. Another one. おかわり。おかわり。わりどれだけ食べるのよ。Very few. あなたそんなに食いしん坊だったのアホは魔力の他に体力も大幅に消費が悪いのは当然のことな。I think she's fucking making excuses. Very cute though to see these kind of sides of Liana. But whenever a slice of life happens, slice of life events happen, a life is gonna get sliced. She ate all the apples. I don't want the downfall of Liana to happen, but like, what if it does? Sure, sure. Who are you talking to? You're trying to convince me? I'm not sure. 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 Yeah. Oh, Wignall already knew. He's a glutton. That's very impressive, bro. Koret is able to peel this apple with such precision, such that the perfect amount of the skin comes off without you know eating into the flesh of the apple while having her eyes closed while rotating it like this. そんなことないを合わせてくれたからだから切り抜けられたんだ僕は別落ちこぼれのせいで一度は全滅しかけたんだぞ怖いだの震え立案するなんてはあ、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。Yeah, let's talk about that. But Will doesn't know. Right? He doesn't understand. He became one with it. 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 Will didn't know. Let's go, Kiki. But like, Will doesn't have the answer. Because everything became clear when Rusty like threw him the ice slab, and something about that ice slab seems to unlock like a core memory of his. And there is also those scenes of Elfie being hurt. Maybe in the past, Will used that power to protect Elfie. Maybe that's why Elfie showed up in the flashback there. I don't know, but this is something like that's in his DNA. He doesn't really seem to know. It just feels right to him. Classic. And then? We should ask the headmaster. The headmaster probably knows something. Very special. Extremely special. And Finn also. For some reason, Will has this like connection to Finn, right? It said that he wasn't able to take his eyes off of somebody there, and then it alluded to Finn. I thought that it was talking about the Light Sovereign, and Finn also mentioned something specific about the sword, right? Implying that there's this like past lineage of perhaps sword and wand users, right? I think Finn definitely knows something. Ano ensei tai ni chisa na otoko no ko ga ita to omun da. Shitteru? Chisa na otoko no ko? Kiki did more damage to Julius' body than Duke did. Do you see all those cuts? That's all Kiki, bro. Finn tribe? There's a tribe called the Finn tribe? They can't use magic. <laughs> They're basically guys from Tower of God. They're also very like little people. They can't use magic. They went around basically understanding how the labyrinth are done. They're a guide. Okay. They're essential. The Finn tribe. Rosti. <laughs> we should ask Rosti, bro. Rosti definitely knows the answer because Rosti probably is Elfie, right? There's some connection with Finn and, you know. Lore. Of course, we're not gonna get a detailed lore of one of the most important people in this fucking show that also happens to look like a dwarf for whatever reason, right? You look at this guy, I thought dwarf immediately, but dwarves are not capable of using magic, right? The strongest mage? He's just a cunning old trickster. Bluster from a certain small someone. Small someone? Is this the Finn tribe talking about it? Or is this 
a dwarf talking about it. I don't know. Aaron, mysterious old king. You think there's some dwarves out there that's talking shit about this guy because he is the one dwarf that can actually use magic like that? I don't know, but that's very interesting. Further makes me think more that like his him looking like a dwarf is very intentional. <laughs> this time we got more info, but uh, it it's <laughs> this question marks. So does it fucking help? Race? Don't know. Age? Don't know. He's seven, I, I think. Height? Don't know. I'm trying to measure it, and he'll wrestle you to the ground. Birthday, first to serve the moon. Like, dislike, love, don't know. 49th floor, though. Holy. Deepest dungeon floor reached. 49th. Hobbies? Fishing. A member of the people of the light who serve as guides in the dungeon, right? The light faction. Has a direct relationship with both the academy and the five supreme ones, the Magia Vendor. Whether Finn is his real name or a title passed down through his people is completely unknown. I mean... It's called the Finn tribe, so maybe the title Finn is a real thing, and his name isn't really Finn. The Light Sovereign's wand has been heard to say, no seven-year-old child is anything like you, because he's actually not seven. Just a species of small, tiny, cute little chibis who act as guide throughout many, many years of dungeon exploration. Okay. Yeah, that's also hilarious. I just realized that her headmaster her name is Cauldron, basically like a witch that like makes potions in a cauldron. Sword, sword. It looks very similar to the other sword, but this one is broken. The one that Headless and Marzi had was a complete sword with these kind of like weird veins, you know, enveloping the sword. Finn also has a sword. これが報告にあったメイジ殺しの武具ですか? Created by the dungeon naturally. So a dungeon is capable of making swords like this. That's what this says. But it's not created naturally. The Mage Slayer sword was created artificially. I don't know. The goods that, you know, Marze and Headless is talking about. Also a Mage Slayer sword? I wonder if his eyes matter? 1607. Nah, probably not. I I'm overthinking. I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking. Oh, so he's just a intelligent そっちの why would the headmaster sweat? This kid is in control. He is someone to be respected that much. Mage, just like, okay, wand and sword. Wand, academy. Swords. The Finn tribe manages people who are sword users, but so far, we don't know any of sword users. They're hidden from us. Are they all living in the dungeon? Where are the sword users, dude? ああ、剣が強いを目指すなんて聞いたことがない。前代未聞で。ですが、だからこそ今までにない爆発が生まれるのは初め。けど、その手の。いいだろう。たちに預けておこう。Where's the other sword user's 
Celestial host. That's a very interesting dialogue, huh? Because up until this point, we're led to believe that this is the extent of the world. Everything is just here. We have the academy and everyone's a magic user. And Will is the only person that can't use magic and he relies on a sword. Yet now... She is supposed to be responsible for the wand who are the magic users. And Finn is a person responsible for sword users. But we don't see any sword users. Intentionally. To hide them. Where are they? In the dungeon? In the tower? Somewhere that's beyond this academy? I, I, I don't know, but this is fascinating. This really like sets up the stage, expands the world for like season 2 content. <laughs> あ、綺麗。みんな怪我をしてるのに一人だけ動けるようになるなんて。ああ、いても立っても<笑> probably a dwarf on the inside or something. While that may be a racist line. Nah, there's no theory here going on. There's nothing to cook this. Wigdal is like... How do I... How do, how do I... How do I explain this with an example? Because like, as an... As like one of the only Asian kids that grew up in my high school, in my redneck town... Basically, I was accepted by the white people, but the white people would still be like racist to like other groups, and I, I kind of understand this. Like, I wish you wouldn't lump a friend of the elves, which is basically me, of the whites. <laughs> and with barbarians, like, and then there's like a different... There's a lot of racism with native, or like against like native, uh, they're, they're aboriginals, right? Native people in Canada. But it's just, it's just like... <laughs> L racism, but also at the same time, he's like kind of accepting us. It. It's, 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 it's weird. What are you talking about? That's what Eternal rivals. What? <laughs> Oh, he remember that? <laughs> yeah, Will probably said that just out of nowhere. But like, damn, Xion really held on to that, huh? Truly shows you how much rent-free, you know, Will lives in Xion's head. Okay. Look at me. Look at me only. Look into my eyes. So like, can Will just literally absorb the fire right now? And turn on that like, boost mode? Right? Cause like, I don't know what the mechanics are, but it seems like you get hit by magic, then you become that element, then you're super OP. I don't think he's gonna do it right now, but for the future fights, it's like, how does this shit work? <laughs> Casually just causing property damage, fucking up the grass. What's happening right now? Do they realize that the teachers found them and they're running away right now? What's happening? Will's chasing after Shion and she was like, ah shit, he's coming for my ass? I don't know. Liana. No. Hunt uh scout, 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 right? Fake scout, senpai calling girl. The hell is this place, bro? Finn again, right? Got no clue, but the shit with Finn and the sword users is it's just always just fascinating. <laughs> That's the celestial host barrier, right? Um, this is the lightning magia, I think. Is Wignall and her going to actually? I don't know. Like, what? Wh how is she gonna explain like all the fucking evil shit she did? She's like, it was just peer pressure, Wignall. I never meant it. Like, how are they gonna resolve that? <laughs> Light Sovereign. Elfie. 
I feel the ending of the episode coming up, guys. Two-month time skip. Final exam. Yet? Is there a season two announcement confirmed? I know it is, but is it going to be shown in the episode? Hold up. Is there anything else in the post credits scene? Anything? 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 Nah, man. There isn't. But I think that yeah, it's pretty much over here, right? TV season two announcement. Oh, Finn. Yo, what's happening with Finn here? With the hand being cut and the blood, it seems like some sort of, I don't know exactly what's going on, but that is Wistoria, Wand and Sword, and I think that this show, this deserves a minimum 8 out of 10, and I think it should be, uh, like, like, it's a very simple show, right? These kind of tropes, cliches of someone that is a defect but actually OP in a different way, proving everyone wrong. It's been done over and over. But just because it's a trope or a cliche doesn't mean that it can't be amazing. It's the execution of that theme that matters. And this show executed it beautifully. One of the most beautiful animes to see. Like, ignoring the plot, right? Just how it looks, how it moves, how it feels, how it sounds. Amazing. Top tier fucking animation. This again is another one of those passion projects and apparently the directors themselves are like this is an all-star roster made for this which made me kind of like scared because how many animes let's say madhouse for example they're notorious for picking up season one of delivering godlike content and then the future seasons is taken over by a different studio and it's not the same anymore right i hear that season two is going to be done by the same studio so i hope that that's not going to be a problem but this is definitely like a solid like Minimum 8. It's like an 8 point something. I'm not sure where it lands. It's a super hype from the get-go. And the mysteries now that's been shown in the finale with like sword faction, right? I don't know why, they, but the show has shown us that like this place only has magicians. But it turns out Finn is responsible for the swords, right? And where do they live? Why is the dungeon artificially making these mage slayers? What is going on? Are there people just in the dungeons that are just down to kill mages? Like, where, who is Headless and Marzi, right? Are they the sword faction? I have no clue, but season two is probably going to answer more of that. And I will definitely be there to cover it. And my God, if there's like nobody that watches a story, like some people are not going to give the show a chance simply due to like the nature of this show of it being just kind of like a power fantasy hype battle show. Again. It's just so fun to watch with a little bit of mysteries to keep you hooked and everything just looks so beautiful. Just fantastic anime. And that's it from me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.